All right, guys, today is the day. We have our ARP head studs in. I've got the clutch, everything, everything we need is done. The bottom end is assembled, our head is ready. So today's episode, we are putting the head on the block. I'm gonna show you how to time it. We're gonna put all our accessories on, all our belts, alternator, and we're gonna get the clutch installed in the transmission, take this off of its mount finally, and put those together. This is it, this is the major step. Once this is put together, we can do a compression test and make sure we didn't mess this whole thing up. But uh, I'm super excited. This means we'll be driving this car soon, so let's get right into it. So it's time to install our head studs. Got the ARP head stud kit here. Just open it up. Comes with washers, nuts, all 10 of your bolts, and then it has instructions and some lubricant. And a very nice sticker you can throw on your car to add some horsepower while you're at it. So these go into the block hand tight only and then don't need to lube them up or anything. Just make sure this is clean. And then once you put the head on, you put the lube on the top. And that's what the instructions say at least. So, so you'll see on the studs here, there is one side that has a, oh come on, focus. One side has a nub on it, the other side doesn't. You're going to put the side with the nub down and you know obviously one is flat and one has an opening for like an allen key so this is the top end drop all of them in tighten it up by hand go around and do all 10 of those and then we'll put our head gasket on we'll drop the head onto the block and we'll tighten it down in our torque sequence so we got all the head studs on now put the head gasket in one here. This one has a marking on it that says up, you can't mess it up. Just line up the opening. That goes there, goes there. Goes on like that. Just line up like this opening here, all these holes. It's good to go. So now we can put the head on and torque everything down. All right, now that our head is on and ready to go, we can grab the box here. You've got washers and you've got nuts. Everybody loves nuts, right? Peanuts, put it on your ice cream, nuts, put them in your mouth, whatever you want to do. Uh, yep, then you get your ARP, Ultra Torque Fastener Assembly Lubricant. Blah, 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 blah. You're gonna put some of this all over your nuts. <laughs> it's funny, right? Get that all over this, put it on your threads if you can reach it in there. You'll see in each hole here, boom, 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 boom. That's where they are. Probably want to grab a magnet too, so that it makes it easier for you to put those nuts on. But yep, here we go. Grab my lubricant. Open that bad boy up. You know, just a, just a little amount, you know, fingertip amount. Work that in there. Put it on. Move on, you know. Grab a rag, clean my dirty ass off. Now we do the same with the nuts. Drop them in there, tighten them all hand tight, and then we'll grab the torque wrench and I will show you. <sighs> wow, I am disgusting. Okay, I will show you the the sequence as well as the torque specs. Okay, so once you've got everything installed there, what I did was I used this big magnet and I just centered the nut on this, put it in, spun it a few threads, popped it off, good to go, easy peasy. I just had to go and buy this 13 millimeter or half inch, whatever you want to use, uh, 12 point socket, deep socket to get in here because I didn't have a deep one. I had a normal one, so this is what you need, deep socket, half inch. Now we can go on. Essentially, you want to do everything kind of hand tight and then we're gonna grab our torque wrench. We're gonna go from the inside out. So you're gonna go one, two, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, to tighten them. And you're gonna go 30 foot pounds for all of them, then 60, and then 80, and that'll be locked in. And then after that, we can put in our cams. We can put in our caps, all of this stuff up here. 
we will time the engine. Once that's done, we can put our cover on. This will be done. We'll take it off our stand, put the transmission on. Awesome. This is so close to being, being done. All right, got our torque wrench here, and I'm gonna try and see if I can do this without using an extension first. So, move this up to 30 foot-pounds. 30 foot-pounds. Going from inside out. That's on there. See, I'm gonna run into that a little bit. All right, depending if these angles work. 30, 30, come on. Show me 30. Should be pretty close now. Come on, torque wrench. There we go. 30 foot pounds when it starts to click. Thirty. Oh, smack everything. Why not? Definitely don't want to go too far. There it is. And just repeat this for all of them. Inside out. Thirty. Now we're gonna do sixty. And then we're gonna finish off at eighty. And these will be done. All right. Okay. Everything is torqued down now. Full eighty foot pounds. All that good stuff. Now we're just going to go through with our cloth here, make sure everything is cleaned up, no excess lubes in here, nothing that could be bad for the motor, clean off our rockers and set them all in place, just making sure they're all attached, like see some of these are not together, you just have to push in on this little rod here and then they clip back in place and set them all down like so. Do that for all of them. And we're gonna grab our cams. We're gonna put assembly lube all over this. Assembly lube fucking everything. Cams in, caps on. It's a little bit of RTV where we need it. And then we can time our motor. I'll show you all the components on that side. This is that time now to put our cams in and assemble this top. So like I said, get your assembly lube i'm gonna put it all over the top of the rockers here and where the cams will be sitting essentially make sure everything can be nice lubed up free to free to spin i'm avoiding the very ends here where the seals will be uh, because there's going to be probably put a little bit of rtv on that that's looking good. Grab our cams. Start with this side here. Cool. I already showed you in a video. I did that. I think I got it right here. I already showed you how to put the seals on. We got those on, nice and fresh, ready to go. Just gonna give this a quick wipe down. Make sure there's nothing on there that really shouldn't be. So we'll just set it in loosely. Assembly lube. The key is the lubrication here. When this engine starts up, it is going to love you forever if you do this. So come over on this side here, you'll see you have one arrow that's pointing up. So just kind of point that loosely up. So when you clamp it down, it'll be pretty much where top dead center is. Lube. Lubricate. Set it back in. Pointing up. Make sure both of those are eh, pretty much where they go. They're gonna kind of slide around a little bit because of the pressure of the cam lobes and stuff. Ooh, yeah, I cut myself a little bit on that cam. And now we'll put our caps on. The ones on the very ends here, I usually put a little bit of RTV. We're gonna take that right stuff gasket maker black RTV. Wow, that was a mouthful and put some of that on there just to make sure it seals and especially on this side here because these engines always leak on here it'll either be out of the uh, distributor seal cam seal or your vtec solenoid and you'll get oil all over your trans the front of the block chasing it i remember when i first saw that i thought it was my head gasket because it, it doesn't make sense if you know anything about how this works it can't be your head gasket but i thought it was <laughs> 
And now it's all always going to be one of these seals on the end here. Up on the inside, you've got two, three, four. It's going to point towards the front of the engine. I'm a total idiot. Forgot that these have to go on first. All right, so now those are on. We can take our impact and just set them in with the impact. And then we're going to actually tighten it by hand. We're going to go from the inside out. Just a little click is fine. All right, it's time to time <laughs> the motor. So now that we've got our cams in, everything is tightened down up there. You come over on this side here, and this is why we loosely pointed these up and up. And I've already gone ahead, just take your 14 millimeter wrench and turn these. So these are both facing up. And what you want is for these two lines to point each other. See, I've already got some white, white out on here from previous job I did so up up and if you look don't be worried like they don't point literally 100% in line it's more like 11 like between 11 and 12 up but the main thing is that these two teeth here point at each other because if you were to move this up and this so it's perfectly straight up these these won't point at each other so as long as those two point straight and those are the ones that are up and not these you're good to go. The block, we set it to top dead center before we put our head on, but basically this keyway is kind of pointing almost vertical with the engine block. And you've got a little line here on this uh, timing gear, I guess. There's a little, little split there. And if you put your timing cover on, you'll see it will line up with the, um, I got it right beside me here. See on your timing cover, it has this, that's your timing mark. So if you, go ahead and slide this on you will see that that line there comes all the way down and sorry i have my camera on a tripod here so kind of hard to show yeah see there you go see that line there perfectly in line because that's at top dead center that is pointing there top dead center both are in line so now you can take your timing belt slide it over there and we'll be good to go we loosen up the tensioner here there we go. So make sure that's loose so that that can adjust itself. See, boom, boom. That'll adjust. This is your water pump. That doesn't really matter if that moves. All right. All right, so what I did to get it on, I just zip tied the tops there. Once they were in, I pulled this down nice and snug here, held it on the bottom, wrapped it around the water pump, and then I was able to pull the tensioner like all the way down slide it on now it's good we're gonna clip these maybe try and spin it over a few times make sure it sounds good seems good and we're gonna put all the other accessories on here every time i rotate it when this comes back this is in the same spot i've checked in here it's all good good got good tension on it uh so i'm kind of out of time today so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the valve cover on the top just to make sure nothing bad gets in the engine
All right, guys, today is the big day where we can put this engine back into the engine bay. Uh, you saw two seconds ago, we just finished putting on our clutch, everything here, got the engine supported, ready to go. I'm just gonna throw this transmission on with our new throw out bearing, all that good stuff. And we'll get it all strapped up, ready to go and drop it in here, fill it up with oil and we will do a compression test and hopefully the numbers are good. We can move on from there, giving it a first start. If it starts, then we add the coolant, all the everything else, you know, doing it in stages. And soon enough, this thing will be driving. We just gotta do ball joints, uh, shifter, pin upgrade, little things like that, which are on the way. So as soon as those get here, we'll throw them in. And you know, the sooner those arrive, the sooner we can get this thing on the road. But for today, we're getting this engine in. When you ask me to bring guacamole to the party i'll say no no if you ask me bring the guacamole to the party i'll say no 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 that shit's too expensive